what's going on. I got this this thing in the spirit that it's not all truth should be told. Some things you should keep under your hat in a way because even a job as a priest, a real priest, right? These people come and voice to you their real problems, right? In the hands of an evil magician, uh, that can be used against you and held against you and you could be exploited because of it. And you, it's basically blackmail, right? So, I declare the spirit or the curse of Ham on all people who are out here wrongfully out uncovering people's nakedness. See, in the story of Noah, he might have even been maybe guilty of being sloppy uh, from uh, drinking there. But it's just like everyone around you, It's they're not, their job's not to put you on blast and just point you out and just defame you. And just, like, even if you're sloppy, actually, we're supposed to, like, take that motherfucker down and go cart them off real quickly and, and like throw a coat on them like and that's what his other sons did and hey for doing so they're obeying being or they're being obedient to the to the higher law man which is uh, uh uh love thy brother you know what i'm saying as thyself and, and look gad in the testament of gad it talks about how be careful who you tell uh things to because they could become your enemy and then they'll use them against you at a later time basically and he goes they even may talk well with you and seem to be very concerned he goes but don't 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 let the gossipers extract and inquisition style get information out of you so you got to be on your freaking guard because look all day they mark my steps and they always are trying to twist my words up against me somehow and it uh, anyway, not all truth is meant to be or should be told, man. In the, in the case of the priest, right? For instance, this is one biblical thing that where that where that uh, thing is kind of uh, even look the story of the Samaritan. It even says somewhere I think in Isaiah, "Clothe the naked." You know what I'm saying? In other words, it's and it's like look, like Jesus, he didn't say condemn that sinner to death. Instead, he went and kind of preached to him. And in some cases, kind of uh, instant converted them and healed them all in the same in the same thing. And when you're out there trying to tail bear and gossip and like dig up dirt paparazzi fashion, like I, I heard this tape uh, <laughs> that was on Howard Stern. Look, shame on Howard Stern for doing it. But it was uh, Mel Gibson just fighting with his wife when he was freaking uh, buzzed up. And that's a Noah situation. Look, I bet you the curse of Ham is going to come down on uh, uh, those people there <laughs> at some point. Uh, <laughs> and it's like, I think Ham's to do with the Canaanites. And look, it's apparent who these people are now. Uh, but it's like, uh, yeah, you're not always supposed to like uh necessarily be out there trying to put people on blast like uh actually it, it's like you should here's how you cover them even it, it's like you can you can pray for them <laughs> you know what i'm saying be like look at least that's a way to get things moving instead of cursing on them and and keep rumoring spread more gossip uh and don't let these people be sly uh, MFers like the uh, Pharisee and Sadducees. We're always constantly trying to like catch uh, Jesus and the disciples, basically the apostles, all up in these word game legalese traps, these legalistic traps. See, and and it's also sowing discord amongst the brethren. It's like a sower of discord. That's an abomination. Ugh. Busy bodying others in others' affairs. Kind of like being like the CIA information. Kind of like, look, we got to know everything they're doing at all times. That's evil. Uh, 
because we're just people. We're not God. We're not supposed to be out there overreaching and just judging everyone all the time, constantly, like everyone in every situation. It's like, and uh, just making, because sometimes your judgment can lead to someone's condemnation later. You could be like, you know what? He's a real piece of shizzle. You could say that. If enough people said that about a person, that can inadvertently get them killed. You know what I'm saying? So look, your gossip can kill people. Loose, loose lips sink ships. Like, like, uh, I think that's what happened to John Gotti. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for instance, it's just like, look, that that's what happened to freaking, it's not loose lips, lips sink ships. It's just that hater aid. People was just passing it and getting drunk on the hater aid about Jesus. And that got him smoked. So, I mean, like, look, uh, and then if you're out there, like, look, if you're out there trying to, like, devise evil against another and taking evil counsel and, like, setting up traps and putting stumbling blocks, blocks before people, you are an actually piece of shizzle yourself, like, betrayer, spy, Benedict, uh, <coughs> just a real, like, traitor, just a mankind, because, listen, you know, it's real quick to become, like, you know, like, James Bond. Uh, to like the scum of the earth like the line between those isn't very it's a very thin line like look there's no way to walk that line with having without having your foot on each side of the line of the scum of the fucking earth like look that's what Judas the 30 pieces scum of the earth thing to do to someone but that's what they did <laughs> you know what I'm saying but uh same thing with Joseph, the 30 pieces of silver mindset, where it's you'll sell anyone out for a nickel. You'll, you'll, you'll sell out anyone for anything. It's like life is cheap here, friend. And uh, seeing people that it, it's like the spirit of doing that is a, a spirit of domination. And like, look, and it's not a loving spirit of a that a brother would have towards another brother. It's the spirit of a of, of evil, of Cain, basically, that before he acted on it, he thought about it in his mind and played out this whole thing of how he was going to do this thing. Same thing with Joseph in the, uh, the Testament of Gad. He said he thought for a long time about how to trap the guy up so they could get like Joseph killed, basically. So it was like the spirit of murder by plotting. <laughs> and uh, also it was like let him murder himself like let him say something that he could use against him later that would get him put to death so it's just but yeah basically I used to call that like look that hidden anger and that resentment and that bitterness <laughs> is like harboring a fugitive inside of your soul and you'll say things you'll spit out you'll you'll you uh, venomous poison towards others and it says that he that hated his brother hateth God so that's the reason why a curse of ham would come on someone who operates in the gossip or the smear campaign gang stalker uh, psyop this mindset that uh, you know it's okay to just go out and put any old body on blast, especially a righteous person, that's the thing, when you put a righteous person on blast, even if they may even be slacking sometimes, you will catch a, uh, some retribution for it, and like Gad had to, he had to repent for like a long time, like look, actually like change the way he ate and lived, like in a, in a way, so, so it's like certain sins bring about particular curses, and there's specific I mean, even though the blood of Christ would cleanse us from all sins, right? But look, you actually might have to follow a more like, like rigorous path on a certain in a certain aspect. Like it says, "Let he who him steal, give." So, like, in order to get the stealing spirit off you, you might have to do a lot of charity <coughs> or free labor. Uh, like, not free labor, but like. Even if you do the job, you give them, you give, you tithe most, most of it back out anyway. <laughs> Man, it's freaking freezing out here again. But, 
I guess how, how how would you get the curse of ham off you? Is like, yeah, instead of gossiping, shut up. When people when you hear people talk crap about someone, stop it. Stop adding to people's crap. Instead, cover it. Cover it. Cover it with prayer. Let it go. Forgive. Walk away. Forget I ever saw that. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. I know they were just in a fucked up state of mind when they said it, so I'm going to let that go. That's how you get the curse of, I guess, Shem off you. Or curse of Ham, my bad. Uh, so, normally, whatever the trespass is, even though repentance is required and all, but the specific way to make it right is different depending on what kind of life you was walking in there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's like, just like, uh, normally, like, if you see people operating in too much, it stemmed because somewhere down the line they had too little of. So now they go over-obsessed in that area. And then sometimes you just got to figure out how to not be so overboard and not to uh, look, uh, slack. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, like, slacking or overboard. Either way, you're going to go, it's going too far. You know, there's some things that are like that. There's some things that you got to go all in or all out. But uh, knowing those situations, man, you know, you just got to, uh, it's, that's, it's the same thing. This is also like, look, this is kind of part of the discerning of things is by spirits too, is that me knowing the spirit of air here. Because I'm a man and I was born in sin. I know the cure now. Because I see what caused the, the problem. I mean, can I walk in all those things myself perfectly? No. I'm still figuring these things out. And look. Has some bad. Got bad stuff on me. Uh, so. Hard. Just like, hey. Some stuff. It said these things don't come out without prayer and fasting. Changing your diet, like the Gad thing, and having to live in a season of repentance. It's just not a common repentance. This is like a sincere and good repentance. Basically, it's it, that's called out in, that, in Second Ezra. And it's like, because by us living in these sins, we're harboring, like, bad ge genetics in our, in our organs. So our organs, in a way, start to fail. In order to get them things back up and working and running right again... You actually have to do this spiritual cleansing, which is different for each situation. And that's part of that priest's job who listens to what the problem is and doesn't go blab it on the rooftops. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, all these things are before God all the time anyway. So, like, look, there's supposed to be people you're supposed to be able to do that to. And there's certain organizations who do that, but yet they'll sell the information. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with these phones. They're supposed to be keeping our business private and they just put it on blast this is adding to this whole problem because it's that's the whole thing why did god have to do all these rituals to cover up our sins in a way because it's like there's no way if you look at us honestly could you think there's no hope for them but with this thing here and the washing of the water with the washing with the uh word the water of the word or something like that people can change and for you know, and I guess you know, nah, you was born in it, but you don't have to stay in it now. That doesn't mean you know, it ain't gonna be a constant, lifelong thing. But that's uh, and it says you should forgive someone 77 times, seven times a day, and that's the same thing there. You got to look the other way, take it on the cheek, and walk, you know, give them the other, and they take this, give them double. You gotta do sometimes if they ask you to go a mile, go two. These are different. That's these are other little suggestions that that he throws out. But they're minor commandments, but they're like they're like suggestions of how you could do it. But look, I could consult the word and it tell me this, but you're supposed to be able to figure out and see it for yourself in life, and then see the remedy. And I think that's part of the Hebrew saying that those that are are that are with have infirmities know how to heal and just like jesus says those that are forgiven much love much you know what i'm saying these are these are precepts that are in this is new testament gospel precept 
Uh, you know, I like all three. The Old Testament, Middle Testament, New Testament. You know, uh, I like all that stuff.